Hi guys, hope you're staying as sassy and safe as ever. Welcome to another Vanity Side entry for your confessions of a vein. Now, what is today's vlog going to be about, you may be asking. Well, on Monday I uploaded this vlog. And now, it's the video. So, welcome to the Box Avenue Review, the video edition. So we're going to talk about different things, pretty similar to the review in my blog. We're going to cover first impressions, we're going to cover packaging, quality and material and of course the big one, their sizing. I want to cover everything and also include price and value for money which is also so 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 important to cover as well. So nothing is going to be missed out. So first of all, we are going to start with the first impressions. Now first impressions, I have a little video. So my first impressions were faced with a cardboard box. I'm the worst at opening things, I don't do it well i do it quite messy so as you can see me and the box we're not friends so fail <laughs> but yeah i finally got through the box with a few little tears everywhere i got through the box and i was greeted with the box avenue standard packaging now this i must stress this is only a piece of like gift wrapping which for me was free i don't know if it's free for everyone but it was free so of course I'm going to choose it because it's luxury isn't it so I was presented with the box and the box is oh, it just screams luxury it has a kind of glossy finish if you've ever been to Box Avenue their stores you get a little glossy bag of little black rope straps it's pretty similar to that you want to be seen with that bag you're not going to be carrying a box through the streets but like you want to know you've got it and kind of show it off to your friends so it does really make for a luxury experience and, and everything's folded really really neatly it's like I can't fault it my only issue is if I didn't fit into one of these items or didn't like the item how would I send it back because it isn't in its own kind of clear packaging or anything so I feel like you would have to send it back in the gift wrapping and it almost takes away from the experience a bit so I'm not really sure how that works with your packaging they give you this information sheet and as you can see they give you instructions on it and it's just how to repackage everything which is really really helpful not many brands do that but given I just tore my cardboard box to shreds and I've got a really nice gift wrapping I'm then sending it back in a really big box and that makes no sense so and that's the only thing I can fault with my first impression it's kind of like what do I do if this doesn't fit me so I was kind of worried about that but did I have to worry keep on watching now let's talk about packaging beautiful packaging it's like Christmas are you a bit excited but yeah, so the packaging, amazing, the box is such a good size, like it's a box you could keep to store other items in it, just because, why not, that's what us girls love to do, we like to keep our purchases in the nicest bags, like Selfridges, Pandora, if you can afford it, designer goods, it's just, it screams, I bought something that cost me money, that's what it's all about, and I'm like, I deserve this. I paid a lot of money on it I'm showing off my packaging so that's a little different I would keep this probably just to store other items in maybe laundry or PJs however it would have its use so it's not just something you would chuck away in the bin afterwards which is ideal recycling and all that so I would keep the box use it for what you could because it's a decent size the PJs were never fit they didn't feel cramped in the box in any way and the packaging is just like the wrapping paper it comes in 
the wrapper paper it comes in is branded it has a little sticker on it their own kind of branded sticker and you just kind of peel that away and it reveals your clothes it's like a grand reveal it's just I absolutely get such a thing for packaging. I don't know what it is like. I used to go to June Norman and I always wanted like the bag. I go to River Island, I want the bag. It's like, look at me, I spent money. Like, I can't help myself. So yeah, this packaging just screamed to me like, oh, I just, oh, I, can't, I can't go over it. So the packaging is so good. Like, if you want a really nice present for your boyfriend for a Christmas or a birthday, tell him to go on Box Avenue because he doesn't even need to wrap it. It's all there. They also let you type up a little message for your gift, which I will show you up there. Now, does I write myself a message? Absolutely, like, who else is gonna? But yeah, so I wrote myself a message and it was just to keep my spirits up during lockdown, but I'm cute, I'm cute to myself. Like, when B sends you cute notes, but it was totally me. So yeah, that was really, really nice. Um, even the card that it's on feels luxurious. Like it's really good quality card, very well printed. And it says with love X. So yeah, it's like, it's a nice touch that's inside the glossy box. So it's a really nice touch. And I felt like it kind of added to the experience. It's a perfect, perfect gift. So boys, you know what to do so girls just show your boyfriends this video and hopefully you get that little glossy box for your birthday or christmas huns i really really hope you do because every girl deserves it so yeah first impressions and the packaging cannot fault it at all i'm really really impressed with it as you can tell but everything was branded it was like they really really thought about their packaging what they're trying to like achieve who they're trying to aim it at and i really thought about the overall experience which not a lot of brands do they think of the marketing of their packaging but they don't really go beyond into the overall experience and i've got to give it to box avenue like they really really did sell that experience to me and can't fault you on it so i would rate this overall packaging and first impressions at five stars out of five well done like faultless so the next thing we're going to discuss is the quality and the material this to me is a really good thing because if you're spending the amount you are on more luxury pjs you want the quality of material to match the price you paid for you don't want to do flimsy or you'd regret your purchase you can't justify it so quality material was a big thing for me when i opened this and actually upon first sight you can always get a glimpse of what the quality is going to be like my first impression of the quality was it looked really thick it looked really it did look its price so i was really quite pleased to see that it did kind of live up to the hype so i'm going to split these into the two pjs that i bought so the i'm very into you ones and the pretty floral ones so i'm going to break those both down and for their own quality material because they're both very different now starting with i'm very into you this is right here this is the top this is the pj bottoms now i love these pjs these are like my new favourites and considering I'm a PJ hoarder like that is hard to compete with but they are just so thick like the shorts are such good material this is a UK size 6 now I'm between a size 6 and 8 but I am a I'm weird okay I like my PJs more fitted so I bought the 6 knowing that these are kind of cottony material which usually means more stretch and the smaller size is usually what I go for. Totally paid off. These shorts are actually a little bit big on me. Now, a lot of brands these days have the tie waist and it's full security. It doesn't actually tie. It's just for show and decorative measures. This, this is legit, okay? This pulls this into my waist perfectly. 
Now, as I get it with thicker thighs, this frill part at the bottom can sometimes roll up and kind of curl up a bit, and that ain't cute, it ruins the look of the PJs. So, I've decided to include a little example of this. So, this comparison is my Primark £5 PJs versus Box Avenue's frill PJs. So, take a look. This is the Primark £5 PJ shorts. And this is the Box Avenue £22 PJ shorts. As you can see, the Primark material is much, much thinner and it also rolls up. Whereas the Box material is thicker, it's more, it looks more comfortable, doesn't it? Like overall it's more comfortable and it does not roll up, which is amazing so these shorts so so good and i would never put these colors together but they just work i don't know what it is about them they just work and they feel summery they feel cute and perfect so moving on to the top the top is quite simple it is just an oversized pink top it has the i'm very into you logo on it and that's the only kind of design that's on it but I feel like if they done a pattern that they did with the shorts on the top it would not work. Now the quality material on these pages are absolutely amazing. The shorts are really really thick. They are kind of, you can feel the cotton in them but they are tight. I can hear that noise. I just love that sound because you know that the material is really really good. So these are I'd say they're really good quality, they aren't see-through in the slightest, whereas a lot of cheaper brands are quite transparent, but these don't show a thing. They cover my bum quite well, which my mum approves of, because apparently my shorts are too high usually, so, yay. But these cover your bum, they, they're they just like really good PJs. Like say you were going to your boyfriend's fam's house, like they wouldn't think you were a tramp basically, so. 10 out of 10. Now let's move on to the other PJs in my box haul. So these are the pretty floral PJs. That's the shorts and this is the top. So these as you can see are more summery and I just think these are so like they can be both cute and sexy which is like that's good at it like you can dress them down for like when you're just like lounging around but your boyfriend texts you says he's coming over you're like I'm ready for you like they can do both hands they are really really good so let's talk about quality material so these are much much thinner than the I'm very into you PJs they also have a thrilly bit at the bottom but it's not got a kind of stretchy stitching in it so it just kind of floats at the bottom and these are, they look thin, okay, but I can't see any skin through them, so although they look a bit thin, they don't show skin, they're not tr that transparent, which is really, really good. As you can see above, that is me wearing them. They look so good on, they look really, really cute. The top especially is so cute. There's like, the quality in it is like, really really nice they've really thought about the detail here it has the straps that are adjustable so if you're smaller braces like i am thanks mum like you can adjust the straps to make it more tighter around the bust if you're bigger busted you can loosen the straps to make it more looser around the bust so that is really good because a lot of pjs these days just have the strap that you're just going to put up with and that's not okay and that's not cool bro so this little top has a shirt back on it so at first i was kind of like why is that there what's the need but once you put it on it really does look good it i have no complaints about it it makes it more stretchier at the back now this is a uk size 8 Quality material, absolutely perfect. It has this little tie front bit which comes together. It's hard to show this on the video, so that is what it looks like. It is a tie front bit, it has a little peephole 
on people with bigger boobs. Now, I know I keep talking about having no boobs and that can embarrass them, but I'm trying to embrace it like, based what your mama gave you. So, the bigger breasts of girls, you'll actually have a peephole, a nice little cute peephole. Me, however, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But, there you go. So, quality material, really, really good. Again, even though it's thinner, it's supposed to be, it's a summery kind of PJ. It's meant to feel light on you. Now, what would I rate the quality of material out of five stars? I think I'll get a five, a full five stars because considering the price you're paying, it's a luxury item. You really need the quality to be there within the material. And for me, that totally is. So I rate this five stars. Now, the next part of this review is for a lot of people going to be the main one, the sizing. Now, sizing obviously means a lot because a lot of brands you can buy from is your right size. It's still too big or it's too tight. It can go either way. For me, I was really worried that box I'm new sizing because I'm, the, I'm very into you PJs. I bought a UK size 6. And in the pretty floral pages, I bought a UK size 8. This was due to, I knew that the I'm very into you pages was going to have more stretch in the shorts, which it totally did, as shown previously. And the pretty floral ones were, in my opinion, a kind of more risky material to go for a UK sex on. So, so did I make the right decision? Absolutely. Uh, UK size 6 and the pretty floral PJs would have been probably too tight. They'd have gave me a front wedgie and a pack wedgie and that is not cute, huns. That is not cute. So I made the absolute right choice. The only complaint I have with these PJs is they are meant for longer torsos. For a 5 foot 2 petite gal, the tops don't show the waist as much as they do on the models. Take Pretty Floral for example, now that's me, there's the model on the website, she's shown her waist, it's a little crop top, on me it's anything but, it is not a crop top, it actually kind of blends in with the shorts and looks more play -suity. so I would say in terms of for petite girls who are not going to have that little waist look, it will go fuller on and blend in with the shorts more, which isn't a big thing but I actually chose to roll this up a little bit the top because I felt like I didn't want that waist fit and that's just personal preference maybe people won't want it but that was just my own preference the I'm very into you top as shown previously is very oversized but UK size 6 I would say it's oversized but not out of the norm because it is a PJ top and I just need to go over it it's oversized because that's life so in terms of a PJ top, it's oversized, it's a good size because suddenly it's a UK 6, they could have done it really, really tight and fitted but they didn't so for all those people who do love that kind of bigger oversized look, it's a top for you. I decided of course as previously shown to tie at the back and there was loads of like material to be able to do that which is really, really good. Sizing, I would say the shorts are maybe quite big for a UK 6, like not majorly big but you definitely do need to tie them to tighten them a bit. So I would say maybe that I'm very into it, if you're between a UK size 6 and a UK 8, you could definitely size down to the UK size 6 and you wouldn't feel it was too tight or too clingy for you. I would say maybe they are bigger made for the sizing whereas the pretty floral ones I would say they are maybe true to size so overall I would rate sizing a 4 out of 5 purely because I feel like that I'm very into you is quite big made and because the tops are longer and not meant for petite gals like myself so 4 out of 5 is still a good score but that's my rating on it. Now let's get down to the financial details. The one you want to know, is this value for money? Now, I'm going to be honest, right, let's talk, let's talk money, let's talk what you're spending on these pages. So, the I'm very into you ones, 
these retail for £22, okay? So they're more luxury PJs, consider you can go into Primark and get PJs for a fiver for top and bottoms. So they are quite luxury. And the pretty floral PJs, these retail for £25. So when you add that up, that is quite a big spend. It's nearly £50. I think it's free delivery. I'm not sure if it's always like that. But £50 is a lot for two pairs of pyjamas. And even though the size and quality and the packaging and all these things are really, really good, it's still a lot of money to be spending on PJs. And even though I totally love the PJs, I just had with Total Upfront, I had 20% off from a student discount, which helps a lot. I took the sum down. And then I also had these kind of VIP bonus points and I had £9 spent from them that I could add to my purchase so of course I was going to do it. So I did that and it I can't remember the exact price but it took it around about £34. So it kind of made me justify it a bit more. I still felt a bit like when I seen it come off a bank balance but I'm okay with it now. I've come to terms with it. I can justify it. But would I go and buy them again without a dis discount? I feel like the discount does help you justify your purchase more. And I don't want to lose a discount. Like, I would definitely search for a discount code with these PJs and then see what it takes your basket total down to. In terms of everything else, they are worth the money. I can't stress that enough. You will not spend that money and then, like, Hate yourself for it too much you will grow to accept it but at the time it is a more luxury spend and it can't take away from the fact it's a luxury spend despite how much i can justify it to you and the good quality so i would give this a rating of four and a half stars out of five purely because it is quite luxury if you're on a budget it's going to seem like a lot of money out your bank but they are totally worth it I just wanted to be honest that maybe I wouldn't be so open to buying them again if I didn't have a discount code and that's normal, we're only human. So definitely get a little discount code and buy these PJs because we are in lockdown, we want to be comfortable and all year round you want to come home and the comfiest PJ. There is nothing significantly wrong with this purchase and that is really amazing so overall my experience of box having you was so successful and I would definitely shop there again. So guys, that was the box having you, the video review edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more like it and I will take that on board just for you guys. Like any Vanity Diary entry, there was a blog to accompany this which was already released on Monday. However, as always, I have linked it in the bio so you can sure to catch up with it. The blog edit is a more in-depth review of this chatty one. So definitely check it out if you want a more detailed analysis of my box avenue purchase. So remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a video. Also remember to subscribe to my blog mailing list as Despite all videos having a blog, I also post blogs without videos and I never want you to miss a blog nor a video. So it's important to subscribe to both YouTube and the mailing list. And of course my mailing list, you get a cute little welcome email in. Who doesn't love that? So yeah, subscribe to both. And as well, if you would like to see more kind of review style videos, then check out my last video, Lockdown Looks floating about there somewhere where I showed you my top looks for lockdown to stay trendy and stay stylish in lockdown so check that out and that's it I hope you enjoyed it and stay sassy wait before you go remember to follow me on the socials I am now on Facebook finally you can find me at Facebook at the Vanity Diaries no spaces all in one Please like my Facebook page as it's fairly new. I could probably do with the followers to be fair. So yeah, as always, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, vanity underscore diaries x. 
and I'll see you on the socials and join the fam.